Good evening, children. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, children. I was just waiting for the others to join, but uh, looks like uh, they are not joining us today. So we shall start today's session. Uh, so continuing with uh, algebraic expressions, identities, and factorization, the next part is division. Uh, in the last few sessions, we have learned how to factorize by uh, grouping, by taking out the common factor, uh, using um, the relevant algebraic identity, uh, or by splitting the middle term. These are the four types we have learned. Okay, so we have learned these four types: factorizing by taking out the common factor. Okay, so. So we have learned how to factorize by taking out the common factor or the HCF. Then we have learned how to factorize by grouping. <coughs> we have learned how to factorize by uh, using the relevant uh, algebraic identity. And we also have learned how to factorize by splitting the middle term. So these are the four uh, techniques uh, used to factorize a given algebraic expression. So you, the so deciding which technique will be applicable to factorize the given expression is what is very important. So you need to you need to practice your homework is ready. Uh, I'll share it by uh, tomorrow morning. It's ready. I still have to uh, you know like make the presentation the PPT. So but it's almost done. I have the word file ready. So I think I'll share the homework with you tomorrow. So tomorrow when you return home from school, the homework will be ready. Practice that and uh, get ready for the next test. So these are the four techniques and uh, uh, you know you need to you need to practice to understand as soon as you see the expression you must you know like uh, uh, analyze as to which technique will be applicable to factorize that. Okay. <clears throat> so after this is a uh, division. Okay, so let's learn how to divide algebraic expressions. OK, so here we have to divide. We have to divide minus 64 X squared Y cubed Z to the power 5 minus 16 X squared Y squared Z squared. We need to divide this algebraic expression by we need to divide this by 4 X squared Y Z. 4 X squared Y Z. So <clears throat> how do we uh, factorize the numerator? You can take out the common factor. In the numerator, you can take out the common factor. So minus 16 is common. And then between x squared and x squared, x squared is common. Y cube and uh, y cubed and y squared, y squared. And z to the power 5 and z squared, z squared. This is common. OK, open a bracket. So it will be 60 minus 16 into 4 is 64. Uh, y z cubed. Minus. Sorry, minus into plus is minus. And then is it going to be 1? Minus my mi, minus into plus is minus. And the whole thing is common outside 16 X square Y square Z square is common outside. So plus 1 divided by. 4x square y z. So now 4 ones are x square and x square cancels. And uh, this will be y square by y is y, z square by z is z, 
into 4yz cube plus 1. So this is the method some schools adopt. You can also do it like this. I'll show you the alternate method also. So this one is by taking out the common factor in the numerator. Taking out the common factor in the numerator and simplifying like this. Children, I'm just coming back. Please take down this one. Write down this in your book. This is the alternate method. So. Minus uh, 64 X square Y cubed Z to the power 5 minus 16 X square Y square Z square. Divided by. Divided by 4 X square Y Z. Alright, so now uh, since the divisor is a monomial, the divisor is. What is in the denominator? Since the divisor, the numerator is called the dividend. The numerator is the dividend. The numerator is the dividend. The denominator is the divisor. This is the divisor. Since the divisor is a monomial, single term, since the divisor is a monomial, you can divide like this. Divide the first term of the dividend, that is minus 64 x square y cubed z to the power 5. Divide the first term of the dividend by the divisor, by the divisor, which is a monomial. Then put the sign as it is in the middle, put this minus sign as it is, and the next term 16x squared, y squared, z squared, divided by the monomial uh, divisor, 4x squared, y z. See, children, it's just like this. Supposing you have 4 minus 6 uh, by 2. You can do it as 4 by 2 minus 6 by 2. Okay, 4 minus 6 by 2. 4 minus 6 by 2 is actually minus 2 by 2, which is minus 1. Minus 2 by 2, which is minus 1. You can also do 4 by 2 minus 6 by 2. 4 by 2 is 2. Minus 6 by 2 is 3. And 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So you get the same result both the ways. So that's what we're doing here. Like 4 minus 6 by 2 is 4 by 2 minus 6 by 2. Here also we write the first term of the dividend divided by the divisor. This minus sign. Second term divided by the divisor. Now <clears throat> 4 ones are 4 16 times. So minus 16. Then x squared cancels. Y cubed by y. So when base are same and it's division, we subtract the powers. If you want, you can show that step. Subtract the powers, 3 minus 1. Z to the power, subtract the powers. Minus 4 times x squared cancels. Uh, so we have 4 there. Y to the power, see, uh, x squared cancels. So you can write x to the power 2 minus 2. So which is x to the power 0, which is 1. I've just cancelled the x squares. Then y to the power 2 minus 1 z to the power 2 minus 1. So the final answer minus 16 as it is 3 minus 1 is 2. So y square 5 minus 1 is 4 minus 4 y z. This is the final step. So you can do it like this. Or you can do it like this. 
it's the same both the answers are the same you multiply this y z inside you will get 4 y square z square sorry this is cube okay i forgot this cube okay so multiply this inside 4 y square z to the power 4 see here are baba what am i doing oh i forgot to write this minus 4 is it sorry i forgot to write this minus 4 here Oh, no, 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 no. What is my mistake, children? Oh, yeah, I forgot to write the minus 4. Correct. I forgot to write the minus 4 there. Yes or no, children? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, okay. 4 ones are 4, ones are four uh, minus 4 yes, times. Okay. Yeah, then x square and x square cancels. Then y square by y is y. Z square by Z is Z minus 4 Y Z. Now multiply these two, you will get minus 16 Y square Z to the power 4. See, here? minus 16 Y square Z to the power 4. And multiply the second terms, this with this one, minus 4 Y Z into 1 is minus 4 Y Z. So the same answer, the answer will be the same. The procedure is different. <clears throat> We can do it like this. So this is how we divide by a monomial. Now I actually prefer this method. This method. Okay, take down this children. Quickly take down. Done, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Write down carefully. Don't make any mistake. Please come up. Fine. Let's see the next one. Okay, so we need to divide x to the power 4 minus 3x cubed plus half x square. So we need to divide this by 3x. Divide this by 3x. Okay, so how do you present this? It's uh, x to the power 4 minus 3x cubed plus half x square divided by 3x. This is the first step. This is the first step. Now you can see that the divisor is a monomial. It's a single term. The divisor is a single term. It's a monomial. So what you can do is divide the first term by the divisor 3x minus the second term by the divisor 3x plus the third term half x square by 3x. This is the first step. This will be the first step. The next step is to simplify. OK, so there is three in the denominator. So it's one by three. Three in the denominator means one by three. Three in the denominator means one by three. Then x to the power four minus one. Division bases are same. It's division. So we subtract the powers minus. You can cancel out three and three. And then x to the power three minus one. Plus, now we don't know what is half divided by 3. So we'll use the rough column. We'll use a rough column and we'll write here half divided by 3. Like this, we'll write. Okay, so it's half divided by 3. So that means half division becomes multiplication and 3. 3 means 3 by 1 becomes 1 by 3. It's reciprocal. Half divided by 3. Half divided by 3. So half. Division becomes multiplication 
and write the reciprocal of three, which is one by three. So the answer is one by six, one by six. So half divided by three is one by six. X to the power two minus one, because when bases are same and it's division, we subtract the powers. So that is equal to one by three, x cubed minus x squared plus one by six x. <clears throat> Write down children. Done writing, children. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. All right, children. Next one. Fifty-six. A to the power eight. B to the power eight. C to the power four. Minus forty. A to the power six. B to the power eight. C to the power four. Plus 20, a power 9, b power 5, c power 6. This divided by 2a square b cubed. Yes, Sahana, try this one. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 20 yeah, by 2a yeah, two, yeah, two square b cube. Okay, next step. 56 a yeah. power 8, b power 8, c power 4 by 2a yeah. square b cube. Very good. Next. Minus. Minus 40 a power 6 b power 8 c power 4 divided by 2 a square b cube. Okay, then plus, plus 20 9 a a power 9 a power 9 b power 5 c power 6 divided by 2a square b cube. Very good, Sahana. Very good. Laksha, continue. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, b power 3 and b power 8 can... Uh, b power... Uh, no, ma'am. 18... No, come from the numbers. Come from oh, the numbers. 56 and 2. 56 divided by 2 is 18, ma'am. Not 18, ma'am. 28. 28, yeah. So it will be 28. A to the power? 6. No, tell me the step. 8 minus 2, right? 8 minus 2. Then B, B to the power? B power 8 minus 3. Yeah. And C power 4. Yeah, next minus? Minus 20. Yeah. A power 6 minus 2. Okay. B power 8 minus 3. Uh, 6 power 4. C power 4. Yeah. Plus 10. Yeah. A power 9 minus 2. 
Okay. B power 5 minus 3. Very good. C power 6. Very good. Sanjay, complete the answer. Thank you, Laksha and uh, Sahana. Yes, ma'am. 28 power of A power 6. B power B power 5. C four, C power 4. Minus 20. A power 4. B power 5. C power 4 plus 10 A power A power 7 B power 2 C 6 C power 6 Thank you Sanjay. Good. Thank you. Write down children. This is the final answer. Do it in this method. This is better. Done writing, children. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. All right. All of you. Ma'am, one minute. Ma yeah. yeah. Yeah, very good. Yeah, the next one is divide. Divide x to the power 4 minus y to the power 4 by x plus y. So here you see that the uh, divisor is not a monomial. It's a binomial. The divisor has two terms. OK. It's x to the power 4 minus y to the power 4 divided by x plus y. X plus Y is not a monomial. 
It's a binomial. There are two terms, so then you cannot use this method. You can use this method only if the divisor is a single term, is a monomial. Now here it is x plus y. It's a binomial. So you cannot use that method. Now how do we do this? Factorize a numerator. How do you factorize a numerator? x to the power 4 can be written as x square the whole square minus y to the power 4 can be written as y square the whole square. Write the denominator as it is, x plus y as it is. Keep working with the numerator. So that is equal to the numerator is of the form a square minus b square. What is a in that Anugraha? What are a and b? Um, x square is a and y square is b. Very good. So what will be x plus? Uh, sorry, uh, this is of the form a square minus b square. So the factors are a plus b and a minus b. So tell me the factors. X square. Yeah. Plus y square. Very good. Into x square. Minus y square. Very nice. Divided by x plus y as it is. Now further, x square plus y square cannot be factorized because it's plus here. X square plus y square cannot be factorized. But x square minus y square, we know is x plus y into x minus y. That's the identity. X square minus y square is x plus y into x minus y divided by x plus y. Now you can see x plus y and x plus y gets cancelled x plus y, x plus y, the expressions, the expressions x plus y in the denominator and the numerator, they get cancelled. So the quotient is, you can write x minus y first into x square plus y square. This is the quotient. This is the quotient. The remainder is zero. It's exactly divisible. The remainder is zero. The quotient is x minus y into x square plus y square. So factorize the numerator. Now you cannot use this method because the divisor is not a monomial. It's not a single term. There are two terms. It's a binomial. Factorize the numerator and then simplify. Write down, children. And try this one, all of you. Divide. Finish this one and then try this. Divide y to the power 4 minus 5 y cubed minus 36 y square by y square minus 9 y by y square minus 9 y. I'm just coming back. Please try this one.
Yes, children. Can somebody tell me what will be the step after this? Ma'am, they have to take the common out now. Very good. Anugraha, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, the new, see, that is the golden rule, children. Wherever we are in algebra, in an expression, when there's something common among all the terms, bring out that common factor, take out the common factor. So in the numerator, you can see that y square is common. In the numerator, there are three terms. The dividend has three terms. And between all the three terms, y square is common. So take out that common factor. Open a bracket. Yes, Anugraha, continue. Num y square minus 5y minus 36 whole divided by y square minus 9y. So there also something is common, no, Anugraha? Ah, yes, ma'am, y. Y, so it will be? Uh, y uh, into y minus 9. Very good, yeah, very good. So you can just cancel out like this y and this y square becomes y, right? All of you write down so far. All of you please write down till here. Yes, Bhavishya, what will be the next step? Are you there, Bhavishya? Okay, who can tell me the next step? Um, can I? Yes, Anugraha. Um, uh, next, we have to factorize the terms in the bracket, ma'am. Correct. So it will be uh. a bracket uh, y square uh. minus 90 plus 4y minus 36. Very good. So the new, in the numerator, uh, we have this expression y square minus 5y minus 36. Uh, we'll have to factorize that by splitting the middle term. We'll have to factorize that by splitting the middle term. So as Anugraha said, write y outside as it is and then split the middle term. You can do that in the rough column. What is the sum? What is the sum, children? Sahana, what's the sum? Laksha, what is the sum? Ma minus 5. Yeah, correct. Very good, Sahana. Minus 5. Laksha, what's the product? Ma minus 36. And who can tell me the two numbers? Not Anugraha. You got it right. Who can tell me the two numbers? Two numbers whose product is minus 36 and sum is minus 5. Ma'am, 9 minus 4. Plus 9 and minus 4. Minus 4. Okay, try that, okay? So, plus 9 and minus 4. What is the sum? Plus 5. Plus 5. Yeah, but we need minus 5. No? Minus 5. Man, minus 9 plus 4. Yeah, minus 9 and plus 4. Correct, Laksha. Minus 9 and plus 4. Because minus 9 into plus 4. When you multiply, you get minus 36. And the sum, minus 9 plus 4, is minus 5. So the required numbers are minus 9 and plus 4. Yes, Anugraha, continue. Yes, ma'am. So y bracket y uh, y into y minus y, nine. Y square. 
Oh, no, no, no. I haven't still done this. Y square minus 9y plus 4y. Correct? Splitting the middle term. Minus 9y yes. plus 4y minus 36 divided by y minus 9. Yeah, correct. Next. Um, next is y bracket. Uh, yeah, one, y two. one second, one second. Children, don't get confused. I'm just continuing here. I'm just continuing here, children. Yeah, y bracket. Y into y minus 9. Y into y minus 9. Plus 4 into y minus 9. Yeah, very good. Divided by y minus by. 1. Okay, Anugraha, very good. You know it very well. Thank you, Anugraha. Uh, so, children, uh, the numerator, first step is to take out the common factor. After taking out the common factor, in the numerator, we have three terms, which can be factorized by splitting the middle term. So, we identify the sum as minus 5 and the product is minus 36 and we find the two numbers that satisfy the sum and the product and the two numbers happen to be minus 9 and plus 4. So we split the middle term minus 5y the middle term minus 5y is split as minus 9y plus 4y. Now there are four terms in the numerator and you'll have to continue the factorization procedure by grouping. Group the first two terms and the last two terms. Ma okay, so yeah, who's that? Yes, ma'am. In the third step, for the uh, we should put that y square uh, bracket y square minus 9y plus 4y minus 36, right, ma'am? Uh, in the third step, okay, please come again. In the third step, yeah, y square, ma'am. Before the bracket, y square should be there, ma'am. So y square into y square is y to the power 4. Uh, before the bracket. Uh, no, here I've cancelled not this y in the denominator and this y square. So there, it becomes y, right? Okay, ma'am. Are you asking about that, Laksha? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, see, there was y square and y in the, there was y mm -hmm. square in the numerator and y in the denominator. And then we cancelled the y in the denominator. And so y square in the numerator becomes y. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so then in the next step, I've written that y outside. Okay, ma'am. No, you got it or I, I can repeat it? Yes, ma'am, I got it. Yeah, okay. All right, children. So, so we split the middle term and this is the normal procedure. Once you split the middle term, this is what you're supposed to do. So in the next step, that uh, y which is outside as it is. And then you can see y minus 9, y minus 9. So y minus 9. And then gather this y and plus 4. So it becomes y plus 4. Children, we, we already know this procedure. I'm not explaining, I'm just telling you. Only the first step I explained. Then after that, the procedure you know. We have already seen that in the last class. So I, I was not actually explaining anything. I'm just telling you. Divided by y minus 9. Now this y minus 9 in the denominator and numerator gets cancelled. And the result is y into y plus 4. This is the final answer. Yeah, please write down, children. The next one is a test.
Done, children? Done writing? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'll just explain this. I'll just do this once again. See, this is the question. Y to the power 4 minus 5 Y cubed minus 36 Y square. This expression should be divided by uh, Y square minus 9 Y. All right. So the golden rule is to always take out the common factor. So in the numerator, if you can see the three terms have Y square in common. So take out the common factor Y square. So then in the bracket, you will get Y square minus 5 Y minus 36. And in the denominator also, we have y common. So take out y. So that gives you y minus 9 in the bracket. Now this y and y square cancels and you have a y remaining in the numerator. Now in the numerator, uh, we have an expression in the bracket y square minus 5y minus 36, which can be factorized by splitting the middle term. The sum is minus 5 and the product is minus 36. So the two numbers are minus 9 and plus 4. So write y square as it is, write that minus 36 as it is. Split the middle term. Split it as minus 9y plus 4y because they are the two numbers. Close the bracket. Write the denominator as it is. It's very simple, y minus 9. Nothing can be done with that. y minus 9 is very simple. That cannot, it, you cannot factorize that or work anything with that further. So write it as it is. And now in the numerator, you have split the middle term. So what's the next step? You'll have to group the first two terms and the last two terms. So open a square bracket. First two terms, y is common. So in the bracket, y minus 9. Then plus 4 is common, right? That plus sign as it is. 4 is common, y minus 9. Divided by y plus 9. Sorry, y minus 9. Now at this stage, you should not cancel this. You should not cancel. You must not cancel. See, whenever there's a plus or minus sign, can you see a plus 4 into something? So whenever there's a plus or minus, you see, if it was if it was y into y minus 9 into y plus 4, if it's, a, if it's a product everywhere by y minus 9, then you can cancel. If it's a product everywhere, you can cancel. But when there's a plus or minus sign in the middle, you cannot cancel. You cannot cancel. So you can see that it is uh, this product plus this product. It's this product, this product plus this product. So there's a plus sign in the middle. So you cannot cancel y minus 9 and y minus 9. So complete that uh, you know procedure of factorizing. Y plus y minus 9 is common. Write it out once. And then gather y plus 4 in the other bracket. Divided by y minus 9. Now you can cancel. It's a product here y into y minus 9 into y plus 4. Now you can cancel. And the answer is y into y plus 4. OK, so now this is the test. Try this. Divide. A square minus. Divide a square minus 5a plus 6 by a minus 3. Yeah, start working.
Ya. Dan Mam. Who's that? Mam Babisha. Babisha. Yes, Babisha. What's the answer? Read up your steps. A minus 4 into A minus 2, Mam. Yeah, I want the steps, Babisha. Read out from your uh, book. Mam, first I have a... Uh... Split, done splitting the middle term, mom. No, no, Babisha, do not, no, no, don't explain. Just read out what you've written in your book. Okay, ma'am. A yeah. square. Yeah. Minus 4A. Oh, let me write the first step like this. This divided by A minus 3. Yeah. Next, A square. Minus 4A. Okay. Minus 2A. Come, 4 to 0 is 8, no? The product is 6. You're wrong, Babishi. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Sanjay, what is the sum and product? In the numerator? Minus sign, ma'am. Sum is minus sign, ma'am. Ah, product? Six, ma'am. Six. What are the two numbers? Which satisfies the sum and the product? I'm on my Who can tell me the two numbers that satisfy the sum and the product? Ma'am, a square minus 6a plus a plus 6. Minus so tell 6. Tell me the two numbers. Minus yeah. 6 and uh, plus minus 1. Six. Minus 6 and plus 1. Huh? Uh, are you getting the product, Lakshya? Laksha? Ma'am, minus 5, right, ma'am? Minus 6 uh, and plus 1 uh, can be right as minus 5, right, ma'am? Oh, yeah. It, see, the two numbers must satisfy the sum as well as the product. Your numbers satisfy the sum minus 5. What about the product? Minus 6 into 1 is minus 6, but the product is plus 6. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. So these are not the two numbers. No, minus three, minus two. Sahana, is it? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Minus three and minus two are the two numbers. So you can see that the sum is uh, minus five and the product minus three into minus two. Minus into minus plus three to the six. So it will be mm -hmm. A squared minus 3a minus 2a plus 6 divided by a minus 3. Sanjay, next step. Mom. Yeah, yeah, next step. Mom, yeah. Yeah. Into. Yeah. Keep telling, yeah. A minus three A. A minus three A. Three is common, no? I'm sorry, A is already common. A into A is A square. A into minus three is minus three A. What's the sign? Minus. Minus. What's common between 2a and 6? Plus 2. What is common between 2 and 6? 2. 2. So in the bracket, minus 2 into what is minus 2a? A. Yeah. Minus 2 into what is 6? Minus, minus 2 Min into 3, ma'am. Minus, minus 3. Minus 3. Minus 2 into minus 3 is plus 6. Right? Don't forget to write the denominator A minus 3. Now, what's the next step, Sanjay? Um, A square. Don't multiply. Anubra, what's the next step? A minus 2. Okay. 
into a minus three. Then a minus three divided by a minus three. Yes. Then we yeah. can cancel the a minus three and a minus. Yeah, this is one expression. So you can cancel this expression a minus three and a minus three. So the results. The next in the next step. In the next step, the answer is. Okay, I'll write that here. Okay, so the last step, the answer is a minus two. This is the answer. A minus two is the answer. Write down, children. Ten months. Very good. I'll let you look. The next one. Divide 72 PQ into 9 P square minus 16 Q square by 8 PQ into 3 P plus 4 Q. So PQ gets cancelled. Eight ones are eight, nine is seventy-two. So you're left with nine. Now tell me, what will you do with uh, nine P square minus sixteen Q square? Mom, um, nine plus a, a a square minus B square formula. Mom. Very good. A square minus B square. Very good. Yeah. So it's of the form a squared minus b squared divided by uh, 3p plus 4q as it is. That's very simple. You cannot, uh, you know, like uh, factorize this further 3p plus 4q. So that will come down as it is. Yes, uh, Bhavishya, in the bracket. Ma'am, 3p, ma'am. Yeah, next bracket. 4q. Very good. So next step. Mum nine. Yeah. Square bracket. Okay. Three P plus four Q. Yeah, okay. Three P plus four Q. And uh, three P minus four Q, mum. Three P minus four Q. Very good. Very good. Divided by three P plus four Q. So three P plus four Q, the expressions they get cancelled. And the result is 9 into 3p minus 4q. Right on, children? So test based on these questions tomorrow. Only these portions. Only till here. Whatever we have done till here. That's all. So the exam will be ready tomorrow. Uh, if you think you don't have time to practice, you can do it by Friday. Before Friday, you complete the test.
write down this one children complete and let me know complete and okay completed ma'am all right all right children now let's do long division let's learn how to divide divide 10 next to the power 4 plus 17 next cubed minus 62 x square plus 30 x minus 3 by 7 x minus 1 plus 2 x square you need to divide the expression given there by 7x minus 1 plus 2x squared so when you now when you look at this question uh, you realize that see it's difficult to factorize look at the numerator 10x power 4 plus 17x cube minus 62x square plus 30x minus 3 you clearly understand it's not possible to factorize using any identity or something so here you'll have to use a long division method and the divisor also has three terms the divisor has three terms 7x minus 1 plus 2x square you know this cannot work by factorizing so you can use a long division method you can use a long division method so how do we use a long division method so see here write out the dividend here 10 next to the power 4 uh, see after x to the power 4 is x to the power 3 then x to the power 2 then x term and then the constant it should be in this order the dividend the terms and the dividend should be arranged in the descending order of the powers the terms in the dividend should be arranged in the descending order big to small in the descending order of their powers so you can see that power 4 power 3 x power 4 x power 3 then x square x and the constant so it's already arranged now look at the divisor the divisor has one x term one constant and one x square term so you must write the x square term first you must write the x square term first and then the x term and then the constant minus 1 so step 1 is to arrange the terms in the dividend and the divisor arrange the terms in the dividend and the divisor in the decreasing order of the powers of x or in the decreasing order of the powers of the variable the variable is x so decreasing power 2 power 2 power 1 power 0 so arranging the terms in the divisor and dividend in the decreasing order of the powers of the variable is the most important step then after that use a rough column use a rough column take up the first term of the dividend 10 next to the power 4 divide that by the first term of the divisor 2x square what do we get 5x square that is the first term in the quotient 5x square is the first term in the quotient how did we get that i'll do it again okay so you have to divide you will have to divide the first term of the dividend this one this one by the first term of the divisor so 2 on the 2 fives are 6 square 5x square that will be the first term in the quotient now we'll have to multiply 5x square now we'll have to multiply this 
five x squared with two x squared, five x squared with seven x, five x squared with minus one. Multiply the first term of the quotient with every term of the with every term of the divisor. So how do you do that? So it is five x squared into two x squared. So five twos are ten. X squared into x squared is x to the power four. Then five x squared into minus sorry five x squared into plus seven x. So seven fives are thirty five. Then x squared into x is x cubed. Then five x squared into minus one. So it'll be minus five x squared. Then change the signs. Whenever it's division, you should change the signs throughout. So this plus becomes minus, plus becomes minus, minus becomes plus. 10x to the power 4 minus 10x to the power 4 gets cancelled. Plus 17 minus 35 is minus 18. X cubed. Okay. Change the signs throughout in the uh, second expression. 10x to the power 4 minus 10x to the power 4 gets cancelled. Plus 17x cubed minus 35x cubed. Like terms. So minus 18x cubed. Then minus 62x squared plus 5x squared. So that will be minus 57x squared. And you can bring the remaining terms down. Plus 30x minus 3. Now to find the second term in the quotient, divide minus 18x cubed divided by uh, 2x uh, squared. That is the first term of this dividend. This is a new dividend. First term by the first term here. So that will give you minus 9x. So write minus 9x. Now multiply minus 9x with every term. In the divisor, minus 9x into 2x squared. Multiply this with minus 9x, minus 9x. Multiply this with minus 9x and this one also with minus 9x. Multiply every term by minus 9x. So minus 9x into 2x squared, minus 18x cubed. Yeah, minus 9x into 2x squared, minus 18x cubed, minus 9x into plus 7x. So it will be minus 7, 9, the 63 x squared, and then plus 9x. Change the signs. Change the signs. So this gets cancelled because plus minus. Same terms with opposite signs, so they get cancelled. Plus 63x squared minus 57x squared. So it's 6x squared. Plus 30x minus 9x. Plus 21x. Minus 3. Minus 3. Now to find the third term of the quotient, divide 6x squared by 2x squared. That is 3. Plus 3. No sign means plus 3. Now multiply every term. Now multiply every term with 3. So multiply this one by 3, this one by 3, and this one by 3. 3 to the 6, 6x six squared. 3 7 the 21 plus 21 x. 3 into minus 1 is minus 3. So you see that the terms are the same but with opposite sign. 6x squared minus 6x squared. 21x minus 21x. Minus 3 plus 3. So all of them get cancelled and the result is 0. So the quotient is, see, whenever we divide one number by another number, when you divide, say, 19 by 4, what is the quotient? 4 is a quotient. And what is the remainder? 3 is a remainder. So the mixed fraction is 4, 3 by 4. 4, 3 by 4 is a mixed fraction. 
Similarly here, when you divide 10x to the power 4 plus 17x cubed minus 62x squared plus 30x minus 3 by 2x squared plus 7x minus 1, we get the quotient as 5x squared minus 9x plus 3 and the remainder as 0. Take down children, the next one is a test. All of you must work this and send the send your picture on WhatsApp to me. All of you work this. Don't share the answer on WhatsApp. I'm sorry. Don't share your answer in the meeting now. Stay in the meeting. Finish the answer and post your picture on WhatsApp. Dover. Ten mom. Okay. Completed, ma'am. Very good. Ask me your doubts in this division. Shall I explain this once again? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, very good. So write out the dividend. You know where to write the dividend and the divisor. Uh, make sure that the uh, terms in the dividend and the divisor are in the decreasing order of their power. So see here, power 4, power 3, power 2, power 1, and then the constant. And similarly, make sure that the powers in the divisor are in the decreasing order. Power 2, power 1, and then the constant. X square, X constant. X power 4, X power 3, X square, X constant, like that. The first term is to the sorry the first step is to divide is to divide the first term of the dividend 10x to the power 4 by the first term of the divisor 2x squared what do you get 5x squared that is the first term in the quotient that will be the first term in the quotient now what you should do you must multiply every term by 5x squared every term of the divisor by 5x squared so see here 5x squared into 2x squared is 10x to the power 4 then 5x squared into plus 7x plus 35x cubed. 
then 5x square into minus 1 is minus 5x square. So like that, you should multiply this 5x square with every term of the dividend uh, divisor and write the result here. After that, change the signs. The first terms will get cancelled and then simplify the remaining terms and write, bring them down. And also bring the remaining terms plus 30x and minus 3, which is not used down. Repeat the same procedure. Divide the first term of the new dividend. This is the new dividend. Divide the first term minus 18x cubed by 2x square. Always by 2x square only. Always it is by 2x square. First we take this 10x to the power 4. Then we'll take this one minus 18x cubed. Then we'll take the 6x square. Always divided by 2x square only. The first term of the divisor. So repeat that uh, divide minus 18x cubed by 2x square and you get minus 9x. You get minus 9x. Write that as a second term in the quotient. Write that as a second term in the quotient. And multiply every term by every term of the divisor by minus 9x. Minus 9x into 2x square minus 18x cubed. Minus nine uh, minus nine x into plus seven x minus sixty three x square minus nine x into minus one plus nine x. After multiplying and writing out the terms like this, change the signs. So the first terms they get cancelled. Simplify the others and get the new dividend. And this three is minus three is not used, so that will come down. That will come down. Now again, this is the new uh, dividend. Six, now uh, the first term is 6x square. Divide that by 2x square. It's 3. Write 3 in the quotient. Plus 3. 3 means plus 3. 3 meaning plus 3. Again, multiply every term of the divisor by 3. By 3. Multiply by 3. So 6x square plus 21x minus 3. Change the signs. All of them will get cancelled and the remainder is 0. OK, is the next one. Divide. Divide. X to the power 4 minus uh, 6x cubed. Minus 26x to the power 2. Plus 138x minus 35. Divide this one by. Divide this by x square minus 4x plus 1. Yeah, you can also put this, you can, you can also put a long vertical line like this. So divide x power 4 minus 6x cubed minus 26x squared plus 138x minus 35 by x square minus 4x plus 1. Yes, to do. So you'll have to start off by dividing x to the power 4 by x squared. And we get x squared. You should write that here. Like this, you must continue. Yes, I'll wait for five minutes.
completed now. Very good. Share your answer. Take a picture and put on WhatsApp. Lakshan. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, Laksha, stay there. I'll tell you. You're right. Where's the working uh, meaning that uh, finding um, the different terms in the quotient, Laksha? You did that in the mind in your mind itself, is it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's good. Okay, fine. Um, oh, darling, you have gone wrong in one place. See that. Uh, X square into plus one is plus one X square. No, oh, you've written the change to signs, is it? Yes, ma'am. Do you do that in school? Is it like this in your school? Yes, ma'am. Oh, it's not like that. You should not do that. You must write the actual signs and then change under the comic. No, you must not write it like this. Okay, ma'am. Another, you have gone wrong also. No, um, okay. I'll tell you one thing, Lakshan. I don't want to confuse you, but uh, answer this question carefully. Uh, correctly. Uh, have you learned this division in your school? Yes, ma'am. Okay. My question is: See, I have written the signs and then changed the signs in the second expression. You don't do it like this, is it, in your school? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we will before itself change the signs and do. Okay, no, actually, it's not like that. You should write the actual products and then change the signs. This is the conventional method. Okay. So that's why you've gone wrong. Uh, it is x to the power 4 uh, and the actual sign is, uh, see, x to the power 4, then you must write minus x to the power 4. No, if you have to change the signs, then it is actually minus 4x cubed. Then you should write plus 4x cubed. Okay. You have gone wrong, ma. That's all I can say. Your your the uh, products in the first step itself is uh, incorrect. That's because you got confused with the signs. Otherwise, okay. I'm sure your working says that you have understood the procedure, but uh, some confusion with the signs, and so you have not got it right. We will have to try it again, Laksha. Okay. You can do it correctly. Please do it like this and send it to me. Write the actual signs and then change the signs. Anybody else has finished? Okay, now I've got it from Bhavishya. Yeah, I'm checking your answer, Bhavishya. Uh, Bhavisha, you should have been more careful with the sign uh, in the first step itself, you know, um, x square into 1 is plus x square and then the sign will change to minus. 
see the first step x square into plus 1 is plus x square under that minus 26 x square can you see that yes ma'am under minus 26 x square you must write plus x square and then change the sign to minus so then you will get minus 27 uh, x square so there you have gone wrong okay so you'll have to correct it. See, that is what is very sensitive about uh, division. That is the most sensitive part about division. Somewhere and, you know, like in the initial stages itself, if we go wrong with the sign, you know, one plus becomes minus or minus plus, the entire thing goes wrong. All right, children, since it's time, uh, I don't want to hold you in the meeting anymore. Uh, Maybe you can finish your dinner and then complete the answer and share your pictures on WhatsApp with me. All right. The one who does it correctly. I'll uh, share the name on WhatsApp. So far, Laksha and Bhavashya have submitted, but uh, unfortunately, both of them have, have understood the division procedure, but have gone wrong with the signs. All right. All right, children, since it's time, we have to wind up today's uh, session. All right, children, so that's it for today's session. Thank you so much. Uh, before that, let me check how many of you have finished your exams in the portal. Please wait. Please wait, children. Okay, can you all see my screen now? Can you all see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so Mritika, Anugraha, Sahana, Bhavishya and Laksha have completed. Laksha, Bhavishya, Sahana, Anugraha and Mritika. Okay, so Swati, Swati, uh, Sanjay and uh, Abhishek are still to complete. Abhishek said he's not well, so he's unable to do it today. Sunday will do it now, he said, right? Sunday, if possible, do it today. If you're too tired, maybe you can take it up tomorrow, Sanjay. All right. Are you there, Sanjay? No, you see. No, no. Don't uh, don't take too much trouble if you because you might have your school work and other things to do. If you have time, if you feel relaxed and you have time, then do it now. Otherwise, you can complete it tomorrow. By tomorrow evening, you complete it. All right. Yes, ma'am. For me, okay. it's the password is the error, ma'am. No, no, no. That's why I've sent your credentials again. You didn't check it. Oh, ma'am. Yeah, and always when you log in and your pass, it, it says your password is incorrect, you shouldn't keep trying. You should have asked me immediately. That's because you tried with the incorrect credentials many times, so it's logged. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, so Laksha 7, uh, Bhavishya 8, Sahana 8, Anugraha 8, Mrithika 5. So let's see where Laksha has gone wrong. Okay. Laksha, what happened? Why uh, the second one is incorrect? See, you'll take X common, right? Yes, ma'am. Then after taking X common in the bracket, you will get X squared minus 144. Yes, ma'am. I just uh, did it in square. Ah, so it'll be x square x the whole square minus 12 the whole square so
So a square minus b square, which is a plus b into a minus b. Okay, yes, no, I, I think I shouldn't see the answers now because uh, there are some students who have not taken up the test. Maybe we'll see the answers in the next class, children. We'll see the correct answers in the next class. All right, because some of them have not still finished the test. All you children, so that's it for today's session. Thank you so much. You may leave the call. Good night. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, children. Good night. Good night, children.